Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at the problem flat fill and if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below this video because that helps me create these content for you guys. Awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the question. So we are given a initial source row and a source column, which is both one one. So if I locate that in this uh, 2D matrix, it would be row one. So this is row zero. So this is row zero, one, two and this is column 0, 1, 2. So if I locate this, it would be 1 and 1. So this is the initial um, index that is given to us. And we are asked to color this um, to a different color, which is 2. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to color not only this cell, but every cell that this is connected to in up, down, and left, right direction to this new color. Great, so what I've done here is I've drawn out this um, initial matrix that's given to us in a grid and I have colored the zeros as blue. So we'll imagine that that's zero represents blue and the one represents uh, the white here. And we're going to go ahead and color this matrix manually with our color green, which is let's imagine the new color two represents green. So this is my starting point. So I will go ahead and color this. Now, I can look to, to the cell above me and see, okay, can I color this cell uh, my color green? And yeah, the answer is yes. Why? Because this cell is white and that's the cell we want to color green. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color that green and now I'm going to look up again. And while there are no other cells uh, above this, so what do I need to do? I will return back and I will say, okay, well, I couldn't go up, but can I go to any other direction and check if um, I can color that cell? So at each cell, we're going to ask, is there a direction that we can go in left, right, up, or down to color that cell green, right? So here I can ask myself, okay, well, can I go here to my left? And the answer is yes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and color it green. And then I'm going to ask myself, can I go left again? Well, no, I'm out of bounds here. So you get the idea. So if we keep doing this, we'll get a result that looks like this over here. And the reason that um, this cell is this cell did not get colored green is because there is no way that we can reach that cell um, in up, down, left, or right direction. And that's because when we go to this cell, well, we see that's a blue, so we're not going to color that one green because we are only coloring the white cells green. And if I go again down here, that cell is also blue, so I'm not going to color this cell green. And therefore, since we're only considering up, down, left, right direction, there is no way for me to reach this cell here and color it green. So this is the image that we need to return in our answer. So this is the image that we need to process and return. And if we look at our um, array here in our example, so this is what that would look like. So we would only consider um, the cells we can reach in up, down, left, right direction and put a two, the new color, in those spots. And then you can see here, um, this is still left as one because uh, we did not have a way to reach to this cell. Great, so a good way to think about the solution to this problem um, is to think about what do I need to apply if I need to check for each cell, if I can go up, if I can go down, if I can go left, and if I can go right for each position. If I need to do this, um, a great candidate to think of to solve this problem is D DFS. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we will create a function fill that we will call and that function will recursively check um, exactly this that from each cell what are my options and what spots can I go and color so that's essentially the core of the solution and we need a base case so what what things can we check uh, to stop our recursion so basically if we go um, out of bounds. So if I'm here and I'm looking up, well, there is nothing above me, right? Or there is nothing um, left to me. So in that case, I need to stop the recursion and return to my call stack. So in that case, um, we need to check if our um, index is out of bounds or if our current pixel is not equal to our initial pixel. So 
if we are at this blue position, we will return because we cannot color this blue blue pixel. It's already a different color, so we don't want to color that uh, something we didn't mean to color green. So we are only coloring green for the white spots. Okay, and the other thing we need to check is initially um, we need to check our edge cases. So if the image, if if I'm here and uh, this cell is already green, um, then we just return the image. Okay, I'm back in the code and the first thing I've done is done the edge case check. So if the image is null or the color that is, the starting point is already the new color, then we don't have any more work to do and we can just return the image. So that's what this line is doing. Um, and then what I've done is just stored that um, initial color um, by just accessing the start row and start column here because we're going to use it in the function parameter. That's why I put it up top. Um, okay, so next what we're going to do is write our fill function. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so in our fill function, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our um, index is not out of bounds. So what we need to do is make sure that the row is not um, is not less than zero and then it hasn't exceeded um, the maximum amount of rows or columns in the matrix. So to do that, what we need to say is um, if, so we can say if row is, is less than zero. So we want to return the recursive call in this case. So if row is less than zero or row is greater than equal to image dot length or row is or column is less than zero or column is greater than equal to image at the index zero dot length. Okay, if this is the case then we just need to return. Oh, and the other thing we also need to check is make sure that um, the selected color is not the, if it's not the same as the starting color. So what I mean by this is we need to pass this init color in this function, so which I have passed here. So what we need to make sure is that, um, that if that color is not equal to the color we're trying to change, we want to ignore that case. So to put it in a specific example, here we want to ignore the zeros. We don't want to convert the zeros into the new color too as well. So to do that, we can say, um, the inner color, inner call is not equal to the current row and column that we're traversing in the recursion. So it's going to be image at that row and column. Okay. So R and R is the row index, C is the column index. Okay, so if this happens, then we turn. So this is our base case. And what we need to do after is once we have found a um, a number to color, we are going to change that number's value to the new color, right? So we can say image at the index of row and column is equal to new color. So we are basically stamping um, that position, whatever number is there, and we're changing it to two, which is the new color. So this is the new color, um, new color, okay. And the last thing we, we want to do is just recursively call um, this init call function by passing it um, the up, down, left, and right um, positions of this um, of this image, right? So what we want to do is call fill and we are just changing, we're just going to be changing the left and right index and from each cell, we're going to try to go up, down, left and right and then the recursion will um, keep coloring, keep stamping the new color whenever it is possible and when the base case isn't reached. So I'll say fill and I want to have the same parameters here. And okay, I'm just going to make a copy of this because we're going to go in four directions. So let me just make sure. Okay, so first we're going to go up, so R minus one, and then we'll go down R plus one, and then we are going to go uh, 
left, so we'll do c minus 1, and then to go right, we will go do c plus 1. Okay, so after doing all of this, we should have the image, the same image returned, because we're doing all of this in place with the correct new color stamped on it. So let's go ahead and I forgot to put some semicolons here. Um, let's go ahead and give this a run and make sure this works. Okay, wrong answer. Okay, so looks like, oh, I forgot to call the function. Okay, so let's call the function. So we will um, call fill and we are going to pass um, these parameters and this is source row source column okay so these are the initial uh, positions that are given to us that's where we're starting the call and we're passing the new color and the initial color okay so run okay accept it and i'll go ahead and submit yay success